And now, it's time for the talk of the Northwest. The 9 to Noon Show with Greg Hughes on Highland Radio. And a very good morning, exactly four minutes past nine on this uh, Thursday, the 20th of uh, February 2020. You're very welcome along to the 9 to Noon Show here on Highland Radio. We're here with you for the next uh, three hours, bringing you a mix of... Uh, uh, the latest news and features and information, etc. What you've come to expect, I hope. Our lines are open, by the way, if you wish to raise an issue with us or to comment on what we're talking about. Let's give Yvonne or Caroline a call right now on 074 91 Now, there was a, a very uh, well-attended meeting, I understand, on Tuesday night in Donegal Town, and we flagged it um, when we were going through the newspapers there. Um, and uh, it's about saving our hills, and there's a group called Save Our Hills, the chairperson of it is Dennis Slevin. Good morning to you, Dennis. Good morning. How are you, Greg? Not too bad at all. Right. So okay. we know uh, that the government is offering licences all over the place, not here, not least here in Donegal for minerals, uh, gold, etc., etc. And there is some exploration going on before companies decide whether to invest big or what have you. What is the concern of your group? Uh, well, the, the concern of, the, of, of our group is that we're... There were licenses. Um, there were there were applications made last year for prospecting licenses in the blue stacks. Um, we we um, made we made uh, quite a quite a big fuss about it, and um, we we objected to these things, and and the applications were <coughs> withdrawn. Then um, just then in the in the in the last few weeks. Um, uh, a, a company from OMA, or with an address in OMA anyway, uh, OMA Minerals, um, a few of their employees were found on lands in the town of Woolley area um, without permission, uh, taking soil samples, um, and it was only when a person confronted them and asked them what they were doing because initially this person thought, well, maybe they were from the ESB or something like that, you know. And um, when they were confronted, it was only then that they handed the lady um, a letter to say, yes, we're looking for permission um, to get in, get in to take some samples. Right, so they went down the line of asking for forgiveness rather than permission in the first instance, it seems. Ah, uh, well, that was the way of it, you know, when they didn't actually just uh, be forthright about it and come to the person's front door and say, um, "Listen, can we can we go in mm-hmm. here in your land and get?" Um, so uh, that there, that there, and then the door, <clears throat> another person then on the side of the road confronted them or, or met them as well and was talking to them and uh, just told them. Under no, no, under no way should they've gone to any land around the Tunnywell area, and that was that was borne out uh, by uh, by the meeting we had on Tuesday night, mm. when the, the, the amount of support that we had there, the, the seventies, at least seventy people there, and, and and people were, you know, it was it was it was a great when you look at a community <clears throat> in such a short space of time, we we decided to have the meeting and for for young and old to come out. In such force, um, it shows the great concern that um, that people have um, in situations like that. I mean, this was a this was people in an area who are concerned um, for what for what for what can happen down the line, Greg. You know? do, do you think, Dennis? Though, if if a company or, or or even a department, whatever it might be, held something like a town hall meeting, say in the John Bosco or something like that, there. And uh, a couple of representatives from these companies come up on stage and they said, look, this is what we do. Um, this is what we're, we're, we're doing at this stage. It's purely only soil sampling. We don't even know if we're going to be doing anything. We'll keep you updated as we go. And before we do anything whatsoever, we'll consult with you further. Uh, we'll explain to you what kind of impact the work we do might have or may not have, for that matter. And we'll also talk about how it might benefit the local economy. If that was done, do you think there'd be any appetite uh, for people in and around Donegal Town and, and, and right across the county, in fact, it's not unique to that area, that they might say, all right, well, let's listen to what these people have to say. In other words, is it the way they're doing it that is all, also the problem? I but uh, certainly, uh, Greg, wouldn't there, wouldn't there be some uh, semblance of honesty in that if, if, if that's what the company did? You know, then, you know, then um, they, can, they can meet the people... Um, 
make the representations or whatever, and, and then and talk to people in an honest and open way. I mean, the way they're con- conducting themselves at the minute is, is not short of, of actually disgraceful, you know. Mm. I mean, you know, people are not, I mean, people have deep, deep concerns about, I mean, <clears throat> I'm looking out. I'm looking out here at Loch Ness from where I'm standing, mm-hmm. and I'm looking around. I'm looking over the town of Wally, and and like we we live in a in a basin here. Anything that goes on in the hills or on the uplands here, it just goes right down into Loch Ness. Loch Ness then feeds a wide wide area. Loch Morn feeds a wide wide area right into probably where you're sitting. You're going to be drinking the water. It'll Loch Morn when you make for your cup of tea this morning. You know, I mean, people have deep deep concerns. You know. I mean, all you have to do, we had, we had, a, we had a, a, a very, very good couple who came, <coughs> who were involved in the action group in, in Oma, or Greencastle outside Oma. They came along to, to the meeting and gave a very, very open and balanced view of what was going on in, in their area. And, and um, you know, the, the <coughs> it was just absolutely disgraceful to think of what's going on. I mean, that, that lady will quite happily come on your show, Fidel Mulcahy, and, and, and give an overview of what's going on there. And that gives the people of Donegal um, uh, an, a, 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 just a, an open view of what's, what's, what's happening in, in, in other areas. I mean, these are areas that, as the crow flies, Greg, I mean, they're only across the... I mean, as I said at the meeting, um, uh, these Canadian companies come such a long distance um, yet, you know, the distance between Town of Woolly Mountain and, and the Blue Stack Mountain and, and the Spearn Mountains, like, as the crow flies, is very, very small, and the damage that can be done is, is insurmountable, like, you know. Yeah, and in case people don't think this is in their area, I mean, uh, like, it, 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 an article, a, a, a notice appeared in one newspaper, um, and it was um, advised people... The Minister for Communications, Climate Action and Environment proposes to grant prospecting licences under the Minerals Development Act 1940-1999 in the following municipal districts, Glenties, Donegal, Stranola and Letterkenny. Please set a, see a copy of prospective licence newspaper notice for full list of town lands involved. And then there are maps um, for four areas. And then it goes on to say that the documents are available for inspection until the 16th of June. That was last year. Or it might be this year. Objections to the licensing to be made by the 16th of June. And then you have to write your objections to the Exploration and Mining Division, Department of Communications, Climate Action and Environment, uh, 29 to 31 Adelaide Road, Dublin. Uh, so, in other words, I wonder how many people even know that, that such a, an amount of prospecting licenses have been put out because I think people listening to this might think this is Donegal Town, but this is in Glenties, Donegal, Stranoller and Letterkenny. And it's the government that's inviting these companies. And people only have, um, uh, it, for some strange reason on this notice, they haven't put which year it is, uh, but they only have until the 16th of June. Presumably this year, it could be last year. I don't know when it was posted. But in other words, unless you saw this one thing in the Democrat or happened to stumble across this article on the council's web page, you'd be very uh, much forgiven for not knowing any of this was in the line uh, in the pipeline at all at all. Uh, well, that, 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 that's, that's exactly you've hit the nail on the head there. You know, I mean, this this whole thing goes right up and down the zone. I mean, um, as 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 was said at the meeting the last night. I mean, about Glen Bay National Park. It's about the only unaffected area in County Donegal. I mean, the rest is open for mining. You know, um, that's that's basically it. You know, um, the, you know the west of Ireland is open for mining. The, probably the most of Ireland is open for mining. I mean, all you have to do is look on the on the geological maps, um, and it shows it shows it shows it up very very starkly. You know, I mean, at the minute. Um, when you come from the Blue Stack Mountains, which are which are earmarked, you have the town of Woolly Mountains. You right across uh, Mina Green above Legany, right across to um, right across to um, Loch um, Loch Derg, you know, um, right across and to Pettigo. All these all these hills are earmarked and have uh, for mining. Yeah, but nothing may ever come of it. There might be nothing there. It's just the fact that we're getting very little information that is worrying people. And, and especially when people you happen upon people on your property taking soil samples and then 
They allegedly produced a letter seeking permission. That's crazy. It's, it's strange. Anyway, Dennis, listen, thanks for the heads up. Thanks for uh, your insight. Yes, you're, you're more than welcome, uh, Greg. I, I appreciate I appreciate uh, Yvonne, Yvonne calling me there and just uh, um, and appreciate the time that they've given me. You know, one day, and it's just uh, just uh, just it'd be nice. You know, in all situations that that all our local media and that would, you know, give give us a, give us the support and that the community is theirs because I mean, you and me and everybody, we all have young children out there and listen, we just want to get out there and enjoy our enjoy the the the, um, the environment that we live in without without people coming and sabotaging it, you know. All right, listen, thanks very much, Dennis Levin there, chairperson of the Save Our Hills group. Do you share his concerns? Oh eight six sixty twenty five thousand.